Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Ashil Andare and this is Wellness Mantra co-presented by True Care Clinic and Vasa Yoga Singapore. We continue our journey to wellness and better health. Today's topic is very close to the heart. Pardon the pun, but today we are talking all about heart diseases. Here are some facts to make you sit up in your seat. Heart diseases is responsible for 17.3 million deaths each year. Nearly one out of every three deaths is due to heart disease or stroke. I know it sounds very morbid, but it goes without saying the heart is a critical part of our body. So let's study the heart. The heart, simply put, is a pump supplying blood to the whole body. To put into a perspective, a heart of healthy 70 kg adults pump about 7,200 liters of blood daily. That's approximately 5 liters per minute. Now, the blood is supplied to the heart by coronary arteries. The coronary artery disease, or CD for short, is the narrowing or blockage of the coronary arteries and this blockage is caused by a cholesterol deposit in the vessel wall resulting in the decreased blood supply to the heart muscle. The narrowing usually occurs slowly over many years. The heart has three main coronary arteries. When the narrowing becomes critical, the patient develops symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath. In medical term, we call it as angina. The cholesterol deposit in the arteries sometimes ruptures suddenly, causing a blood clot to form. This blood clot will cut off the blood supply and cause damage to the heart muscle. This is commonly known as heart attack. The patient may get severe chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitation, giddiness, cold sweaty hands, and even die suddenly. People who smoke or have conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol levels, obesity are prone to develop coronary artery disease. These are modifiable factors, means you have control over them. But there are other factors which are not modifiable, like age, ethnic background, family history. Now, before I move on to the symptoms of heart attack and treatment for coronary artery disease, let's check in with our resident yoga guru, Mr. Manoj Thakur, for some tips from the world of yoga to help prevent the coronary artery disease. Friends, let's see today two posture to keep your heart healthy. The first posture is Gaumukhasana and second posture is Bhujangasana. So Neetu is here to demonstrate two posture. Gaumukhasana first, bend the right leg first, then the left leg. If your right left leg is up, take your left hand also up. But be careful, do not hurt yourself during this posture and maintain it around 30 seconds if you can and normal breathing and after that release your hand slowly and your leg one by one and then relax for a while now let's see Bhajangasana prone position you lie down on abdominal muscles so legs together chin resting on the ground your elbow pointing up and then slowly raise your upper trunk see how much you can raise Normal breathing is very important. Do not hold your breathing. And again, you can stay 30 seconds to one minute. And then slowly come back, chin resting on the ground. Release your hand. And make sure you relax in Makarasana. This is called Makarasana. That's called crocodile posture. That is also good for your heart. Practice every day, morning and evening with empty stomach. If you practice regularly, then you will see your heart is very healthy. See you next week. So what are the symptoms to look out when you are having heart attack? Left-sided chest pain spreading to the left arm can go to the jaw. It is associated with sweating, nausea, omitting, dizziness, breathlessness, or sometimes you feel your heart is beating very fast. Sometimes heart attack occurs without even having a chest pain, particularly in those who are having diabetes. This usually happens if you are going through extreme emotion, overexertion, or even after a large meal, or smoking or even exposure to extreme temperatures. The most important thing to do in these instances is to immediately alert someone nearby and call for medical help. Early detection of these symptoms might just save a life. In current times, CED is comprehensively treated with three broad ways, lifestyle changes, medication, and medical procedures. So lifestyle changes is very similar to step taken to lose weight. Doctors also recommend stress reduction activities. You can take medication to prevent further clot formation. Need to aggressively treat risk factors like high cholesterol, diabetes, and need to control blood pressure. There are also medication to be taken when you get chest pain like nitrates. Medical procedures like angiography and angioplasty for blockage in coronary artery is the mainstay of treatment. During heart attack, this is life-saving and time critical. Bypass surgery is for those who have multiple blockage and not amenable for angioplasty. As always, please consult a doctor in a matter of medication and medical procedure. I hope I have given you enough food for thought. 
I will see you again next week. Remember, your health is in your hand. And this is your wellness mantra, co-presented by True Care Clinic and Vasa Yoga Singapore.